Boy. What do we got coming? That video really reminds you how short the basketball shorts used oh. to be. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want to wear those on a cold day you like today. You don't need shorts right now. <laughs> what you need is a nice heavy coat. And I'm grateful that you can't see what I have on from my knees down because I'm wearing these ridiculous winter boots that don't go with my outfit. But if I have to be out on the sky deck, I am going to be prepared, right? So it is still very cold outside. And we do have a storm system beginning to brew, allowing that when this gets here, for it to bring in just snow. No mixing this time. It is too cold for that. But here's the storm starting to get its act together. It's still not totally organized, but it's showing signs of that. It looks a lot more robust than it did yesterday, even though still looking a little innocent right now. But you do have snow, ice and rain breaking out in advance of this through a good portion of Missouri right now. And there are winter alerts posted right in this. It's just an east to west line essentially for where the storm is going to track. And notice we are not in that zone. The furthest north uh, that you get with any winter storm watches is southern Maryland. So we are going to be dealt a very glancing blow from this and the closest alert that's near to us is a winter storm watch at this point well off to the south. Coding to an inch is the general gist though north of the city. You'll probably be on the lower end of that the further north you go. Likely to not have to shovel anything in the uh, Lehigh Valley for example, but you'll probably get on the higher end of this uh, one to three inches as you go into southmost New Jersey, Kent, Sussex, counties just because you're closer to the core of the storm. But here in the city, about an inch or so is about the most we're calling for. So yeah, you'll probably have to do a little bit of modest cleanup with the shovel, but it's not going to be a backbreaking chore for you here. Here's the timing. We may see flurries as early as tomorrow afternoon, but the snow doesn't really start to accumulate until later tomorrow night and then into the early hours of Sunday. A look ahead, however, keeps us at least in the sun heading back to work and school on Monday and Tuesday, but uh, we are only going to see a modest rebound at best in this seven day.